Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got these logarithmic problems as you can see over here and we are going to find the value of these ones. So let's go ahead and get started. And here's our question. We have a got base 3 and our exponent is log of 5 with the base 3 and we are going to find the value of this one. And here's the formula that we will be applying on this problem. As long as this our base, this one, and this logarithmic base, they are same, then our answer is going to be this argument. So our answer turns out to be simply 5. And if you are curious how this formula is going to work, let me show you the proof now. Now let's go ahead and consider the very same problem that I have just copied down. And since we don't know the value of this one, let me just put it equal to x. And this way we are going to find the value of x. And here's our next step. Let me go ahead and take the log on both sides. I'm going to take the log on this side and log on this side. The only thing is we have to be careful. I'm going to use log base 3, same as this one. Now we are going to use this power rule. What that means is this is our exponent. We are going to drag it and bring it to the front. So this could be written as log of 5 with the base 3 and then we are going to write down just this part which is log of 3 with the base 3 and the right hand side we're going to leave it alone everything is going to stay same now let's apply this famous identity rule that means as long as this base and this argument are same that is going to be equal to 1 and we can see that our base and argument are same over here as well so this thing is just equal to 1 so that means this could be written as log of 5 with, with the base 3 and this is simply times 1 equal to log of x with the base 3 or simply we got log of 5 with the base 3 because one time this is same thing log of x with the base 3 and we can see that everything is same base is 3 and here that means this 5 has got to be equal to x so that means our x value turns out to be simply 5. So thus our answer turns out to be 5. And here's our next question. This time our base is 8 and our exponent is log of 7 with the base 2. And if we compare this question with this our formula, so our base, this one and this logarithmic base are not same. So let's go ahead and manipulate this problem a little bit. Now let's focus on this 8. 8 could be written as 2 power 3. So 8 could be written as 2 power 3 and then power log of 7 with the base 2. Now you can see we have got these two exponents. 3 is an exponent and this whole thing is an exponent as well. So we are going to use this power rule. So this could be written as 2 power 3 times log of 7 with the base 2. Now let's focus on this exponent part. This one over here, we are going to use this power rule. So that means this number, I could just bring it as an exponent over here. So that means this could be written as 2 power log of 7 power 3 with the base 2. And now we can see that 7 power 3 is same as 343. 
so this could be written as 2 power log of 343 with the base 2 and now we can see that our this base and this logarithmic base they are same so we can apply this formula now so that means our answer is going to be 343 so thus our answer turns out to be 343 and here is our next question. This time our base is square root of 3 and our exponent is log of 5 with the base 3. Once again we can see that this base and this logarithmic base they are not same so we cannot apply this formula right now. So let's go ahead and manipulate this one. Now let's go ahead and focus on this square root of 3. I have just copied it down and we know that the square root of 3 is same as 3 power 1 over 2. So I can go ahead and just write this one in terms of exponent 3 power 1 over 2 and then this whole whatever this exponent log of 5 with the base 3. Now we can see that we have two exponents. One is 1 over 2 and the other one is log of 5 with a base 3. So therefore we are going to apply this power rule. So that means we're going to multiply these exponents. I can write 3 and then power 1 over 2 times log of 5 with a base 3. And now let's focus on this exponent part 1 over 2 times log of 5 with a base 3 and here we are going to apply this power rule so that means whenever we have this the number in the front 1 over 2 we could drag it and make it as an exponent by using this power rule therefore I can write 3 as a base and this become log of 5 power 1 over 2 with the base 3 and now let's focus on this part 5 power 1 over 2 this could be written as in terms of radical square root of 5 so therefore I can write with the base 3 log of square root of 5 with the base 3 and we can see that we have this base and logarithmic base are same so that means our answer turns out to be simply this part which is square root of 5 so thus our answer turns out to be square root of 5 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye